Hello, scholars. I'm Griot B. Today, I'll be breaking down the scientific revolution. Our central question is, how did the scientific revolution change the way people thought about the world? Today, we will explore, one, the world before the scientific revolution, two, key scientists during this time, and three, some of the scientific revolution discoveries and new ideals that we still use today, as a matter of fact. So how do we know what we know? How do we know that the sickness that is devastating the world and forcing you to stay home is even a virus? We know because of science, but this hasn't always been the case. See, there was a time in the world where the church was all that mattered, and the word of the church was all people listened to. People believed what they were told as truth. The scientific revolution changed this. It was because of this event in world history that we know that the sun is the center of the universe and that gravity exists and that diseases are the result of bacteria and viruses and that there is a method to conducting scientific research. Before the scientific revolution, there was a massive movement of creation and art and philosophy and music known as the Renaissance. <laughs> this period in European history was motivated and ruled by religion. See, during this time, the church, and not like Deacon Jones and pastor in them church, I'm talking about like the Catholic church, which during this time was the only church and was in control of people's everyday lives. You know, that's a lesson for another episode, but it's important to remember where the scientific revolution came from. Because the scientific revolution led to people questioning the church and researching things on their own. Philosophers like Ptolemy and Aristotle were the law of the land. Though they lived over 12,000 years prior to the scientific revolution in the second century, they, their ideas were taken as law. The scientific revolution began to change this. A scientist named Copernicus decided to question what he was taught and research on his own. During this research, he made the statement that contradicted the church and Aristotle's teaching of geocentric universe. This means the earth, prefix geo, is the center, suffix centric, of the universe. Though he had no concrete proof, he sparked the minds of other scientists in Europe. Johann Kepler used a telescope and it observed the motion of the planets and saw that they orbited the sun in oval revolutions, meaning that through his observation, he disproved Aristotle's notion of a geocentric universe and found proof of a helio, prefix sun, centric universe. This changed the game. It opened the door to more inquisitive minds. One of the most famous of these inquisitive minds during the scientific revolution was Galileo. He took the baton of Kepler and he kept going. He was an Italian mathematician who improved the design for the telescope. It was more powerful, so much so that he was able to see Jupiter and Venus and saw that the surface of these planets were uneven. This scientific discovery contradicted what Greek philosophers claimed was true. He also began the groundwork for the idea of gravity. In the song, I asked about dropping a bowling ball and a tennis ball at the same time. Did you know that if you did this, no matter what height, they would land at the exact same time? The weight of each object is not a factor to the speed in which it drops. This discovery was made by Galileo, and without it, we couldn't have airplanes and elevators. And it proves that the rotation is happening on this earth. With the creation of the printing press, which allowed more access to read information, these discoveries began to spread across Europe. This angered the Pope, Pope Urban VII, and he thought that, and he thought that Galileo was wrong and brought him for trial. The Pope charged him with heresy, which means he was going to go against the teachings of the church. This would lead to excommunication, which was a very severe punishment. Sidebar, uh, before Protestantism um, and the Martin Luther, not, not the king, uh, in the Christian faith, the only way to forgive one's sins was to be forgiven by the church and a priest in the church. This was the only way to heaven. And the only way to heaven was to be forgiven by sins. See, excommunication meant that you were kicked out of the church and could never be forgiven and thus never go to heaven. Things have changed now, and we will discuss how major that was in a later episode. But during this time, it was a major deal to be excommunicated. Galileo decided to recant his statements, which means take them back, and even say that he was lying the entire time. <laughs> the scientific revolution was filled with great scientists and discoveries, like Isaac Newton discovering gravity by sitting under an apple tree, as well as Rene Descartes and Francis Bacon, who, through whose work we have the scientific method, the tool you use to create those science projects, and the basis of all scientific discovery. Today, we have to take that method in the things we do. Social media posts often are taken as law and truth, much like before the scientific revolution. 
It is our jobs as learners to question and research what we see so that we can truly learn for ourselves. We must also keep advancing technology because without the telescope and without the printing press, Johann Kepler would, have, would never have been able to observe the planetary motion. Without the improved telescope, Galileo would have never seen Jupiter and Venus. Advanced technology will help us as a world continue to learn about our world and the parts of it. Thank you for joining in. Keep learning, keep laughing, keep loving, and keep living. I'm Griot B, and this is Schoolyard Rap, World History Wednesday. What's next? I'll tell you, kids. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. If you'd like to learn more about today's topic, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. If you'd like to purchase the illustrated video or use it at your leisure, please go to schoolyardrap.com. Thank you very much. See you next episode.